do your work, you are completed. Okay? So I'm going to do these um, separately. But the main important thing what I'm going to do is show you guys how to simplify square root of 45. Now, if you do not like this method um, and you prefer to use prime factorization, that's fine. However, you guys can look at all the work that you guys did. That kind of sometimes is a lot, especially if you have like a larger number. That's a lot of repetition you're doing, right? So while that works for any problem you're doing, it might not always be the most efficient, especially once you get better with your number sense what we can do is start using the shortcut. And what the shortcut basically says is, rather than factoring down our number, we know that, we, ought, we know that 2 times 2, or the grouping of any number, we can, fact, we can group that out, right? We can factor those out. But what's important about these is these two numbers, when we actually multiply them together, square root of 4 and square root of 36, they still give us the same answer. So rather than looking for groupings in prime factorization, why don't we see if we can rewrite our numbers in terms of square numbers? So that's what I wrote up here for you guys, is I wrote up a whole bunch of square numbers. This is 2 times 2. This is 3 times 3. 4 times 4, 5 times 5, 6 times 6, 7 times 7, 8 times 8. And I went all the way up to 20 times 20. All right? I have memorized at least all the way up to 15 times 15. I would, rec I would recommend you at least have up to 10 all the square numbers up to 100 um, for you. Now, so to do this, what we're going to do is, again, we need to rewrite this problem. So what I want to do is identify what is the largest square number that evenly divides into 45. So to do that, you start at the largest possible number it could be, 36. Does 36 divide into 45? No. Does 25 divide into 45 evenly? No. 16? No. 9? Yes, I can rewrite this as 9 times 5. Now, do I know what the square root of 9 is? Yeah, it's 3. Done. OK? Just like that.